colleagues, this is Tabim Chali from the Department of Small Business Development. I'm going to be taking you through a presentation that the Department of Small Business Development and CEDA has prepared, and part of which will be done by my colleague Kate Masopa from CEDA. The presentation is prepared to highlight the support that the DSBD has for SMMEs and cooperatives, and in this instance, relevant to the emerging tourism operators. Can we move to the second slide? Oh, I don't know if somehow I can't see your, your slides here. Okay, the, on this um, slide, it depicts the DSBD portfolio, which consists of the department itself, then the Small Enterprise Finance Agency, that is CIFA, and Small Enterprise Development Agency, which is CEDA. The mandate of the Department of Small Business Development is to lead and coordinate an integrated approach to the promotion and development of entrepreneurship, small businesses and cooperatives, and ensure an enabling legislative and policy environment to support their growth and sustainability. DSPD achieves this mandate through its portfolio partners that is CIFA and CEDA, and this ensures that an adoption of a holistic approach in developing SMMEs and the cooperatives. On the next slide, we have uh, taken an extract of a statement that was made by President Ramaphosa about economic transformation and it reads, our economic, or quote, our economic strategy going forward will require a new social compact among all role players business, labor, community, and government to restructure the economy and achieve inclusive growth. We will forge a compact, we will forge a compact of radical economic transformation, which ensures the advancement of the economic position of women, youth, and persons with disabilities, and that makes our cities, towns, villages, and rural areas vibrant centers of economic activities of economic activity, close quote. In this statement, the, our president emphasized the need for a radical and inclusive economy, which prioritizes and brings enterprises owned by women, youth, and persons with disabilities to the center of the economic mainstream as they play a critical role in transforming of our economy. The next slide uh, talks about the five pillars in the five strategic intervention pillars for SME and cooperative support, which uh, include enabling legal and regulatory framework, and that encompasses business sub licensing, alignment of bylaws, social protection, intellectual property, and the sec second one is enterprise development, the financial and non financial support which includes infrastructure, access to finance, access to markets, training and development with mentorship, incubation, technology, innovation, and others. And the third one is intergovernmental relations, which is, can either be horizontal or vertical. And this includes coordination systems, policy development, resources, program development, implementation, as well as the district development model. The fourth one includes the, the fourth um, essential pillar of SME and cooperative support is the stakeholder partnership, partnership uh, development, which includes private sector, business associations, CITAS, academic institutions, civil societies, forum, and others. And the last one is the information management. So these are actually very important for us to be able to uh, realize the, the goals that we have set for ourselves as a department in terms of supporting the SMMEs and the cooperatives. The next slide uh, talks about the support that is rendered by CEDA and CIFA. And uh, like we've indicated before, that my colleague Kate will actually take you into the details of what CEDA offers. But just to, yeah, just to summarize it, it's. First, it's network or purchasing power, access to working capital investment and revolving credit through cooler credit guarantee scheme, the business knowledge, uh, health and 
health and hygiene support, as well as the legal compliance, which in this instance is the most critical one because uh, it, it, the compliance of any business is essential. Uh, facility, which includes the facilitation of licensing through municipalities in accordance with applicable legislation, facilitation of registration with CPIC, SARS, and UIF, as well as assistance with access and management of business bank and business banking account. And then the next slide captures the nature of business support that is offered by CEDA and CIFA. Oh no, sorry. Sorry, uh, the next slide is about the target market. As this slide shows that most businesses are at the bottom of the pyramid and are established based on the necessity compared to those at the top of the pyramid that are opportunity or entrepreneurial driven. So what the SBD and uh, the portfolio has done here is that the support that is uh, provided is structured according to what we are looking at here at this, uh, at, um, that most businesses are at the bottom. So most of the support that we're actually giving are, is support for businesses that are necessity driven, that are survivalist, because we know that the rate of failure for these businesses is very high. So we're trying to deal with that issue and then to make, to make sure that they grow and you know, get into the next level. And we know that the growth of businesses also means that we are dealing with the issue of job creation, the growth of the country's economy and the others. So I am now going to hand over to my colleague, uh, Kate, to take over. Thank you, Tabi, um, for the opportunity and thank you for, for, for giving us that uh, uh, breakdown. Um, I've been introduced. My name is Kate Masupa. I'm the information officer for the Small Enterprise Development Agency. Maybe just to emphasize on the pyramid in terms of the target market, um, we normally what how we assist clients it's based on the characteristics is uh, depleted depleted on the right hand side. What we do is we look at potential entrepreneurs, those let's say for instance with the Department of Tourism, those that would come through and say they want to register businesses, they don't have ideas, or maybe even if they do have an idea but they don't know how to go about that. This is where we would take them under our wing and assist them. And um, even those that would come through employing less than five, only to find that maybe they might have limited, very limited technical and business skills, or those that would come through with less than 20, but have limited technical and business skills, or even those that would be employing 50 and above with developed technical, maybe limited business skills, as well as those would come through maybe employing 200, but have developed technical and business skills. You can move to the next slide, please. Okay, so the Small Enterprise Development Agency, we are a non-financial institution of the DSBD. Um, we assist SMMEs, among others, how to formalize their businesses. And uh, with the motto that together, that is us, as the small enterprise with the SMME, we make sure that small enterprise development is advanced. The next slide, please. So what does CEDA then do? Um, CEDA offers briefing sessions where we explain processes and requirements for entrepreneurs or small enterprises. Um, for those that would come and say, I want to start a business or for those that would come in and say, I'm already in business. And um, we assist across as the pyramid the, uh, from the previous slide has already shown. Um, we also would assist those who come through that want to formalize their businesses. And for each, be it you're starting up or be it you have a, a, a operational business, we will then you know, recommend you to the relevant platform. And for new enterprises, we hope we've got a process that needs to be followed that includes a briefing session. But for those that are already in operation, the certain documentation will give you a list of things that would need you to actually uh, provide us with. And therefore, let's say you want to formalize a business. We therefore recommend you, if you're a new entrepreneur, to complete the process online 
on a service offered by IPC together with Biz Portal. This is where if you're a, a new owner, you can manage the registration and ensure that the information about the compliance is covered. The next slide, please. Who is Biz Portal and the offering? Biz Portal is an extension as it, it has been showed, um, whereby you are able to um, get a, a, a link to the CIPC where you are able to register a company with the related services. And uh, the service there is very seamless. And due to the COVID-19, I should think CIPC as well is trying its best to not have people coming through physically, but to be able to use the digital platform. Um, as you can see, it's a paperless, uh, completely paperless system um, in order to improve the ease of doing business within South Africa, and specifically for those that want to start businesses. Um, there, to register a company, people need to remember it is only 175 friends. Obviously, there is terms and conditions that apply. The next slide, please. So this is the process <coughs> that needs to be followed when one would be on the biz portal to apply for a business. As you can see, uh, you start by providing obviously director details and there will be a verification. Also giving company details, company name. Uh, it also assists you with application for UIF. Uh, you also get a triple BEE certification um, and they also give you their bank account and you pay and therefore your registration will be done. The next slide, please. <clears throat> so these are the services that are um, provided by Biz Portal. They, they provide company registration uh, which only costs 125 rand without a name and 175 including a name. So as I've just said, there's no documentation required because the entire process is done online. And tax registrations, um, I should think if you become part of it, it's automatically registered with SARS for you to be able to get a TCC or tax clearance certificate. Uh, if you would like to do that, you can register on the domain, which is this portal for 51.75. Then you definitely have a commercial register of your choice at no cost. And these can be done instantly after registration. And I should think the entire process is valid for 12 months. Um, because failure to transfer the required amount would lead to deletion. The next slide, please. Um, continuing the Biz Portal services, and they also assist with triple BE certification, uh, exemption of micro enterprises, private companies or closed co corporations with a turnover of more than 10 million. They can actually use this platform to register for a triple BE certification at no cost. The compensation fund registration, uh, because this is what a lot of businesses need to have for good standing. So you register a company with compensation fund at no cost. And companies that do not have any employees are not allowed to register for compensation fund. And the UIF as well, which is also required for good standing. So you have to register your company with UIF at no cost. Again, companies that do not have any employees are not allowed to register. They also assist with business accounts. Um, so in open a business bank account with any one of the big of the, the big four banks in South Africa. That is all the banks that will assist in opening up a business account. Next slide, please. So this, if you need further information on um, CEDAS services, that is our website together with the information center on 0860. 103703, or you can email at info at cedar.org.za or even the biz portal um, at www.bizportal.gov.za and CEDAR's one is www.cedar.org.za.
Thank you.